Good morning. Today we have a 2022 Road Glide. She's a pretty bike. But the front forks, they're, they're corroding already. So we're going to put chrome fronts on and we're going to do it step by step. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I really do appreciate thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. With that, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the ignition housing and the cluster. All right, if you take notice, we gotta remove this housing so we can remove the cluster. If you take a close look, there's a little snap there. Push it in, don't go crazy. And there you go. Slide that up. This is what you're pushing in. This is what you're pushing in and this clips up front. So you do not have to remove this mechanism. One is right here, and that's not a Phillips head, it's a Torque 20. So I got my Torque 20, let's get it nice. And this will remove the front cover. All right, that's that side. There's another one on the other side. With that, now I'm gonna to move to removing that instrument cluster. Just to give you an idea what these forks look like. They're a mess, they really are. I mean, this is a 2022, but I am in Florida, and you see all the corrosion. If you don't detail these front forks, every time you take it out, they will corrode. All right, let's move on to removing that cluster. That's real nice. Let me bring the camera over here. So, okay, there's two plugs. You know what? I might not even disconnect it. Let me see if I can work this by keeping it on an angle. Now I'm going to put this bike up on the lift. So she's off the ground with my Larian lift. I put a towel just to protect everything. First thing I'm going to do is remove these caps. I got my Allen head here in the back. All right. Allen key here. And that's that. I'm going to put it down on my... All right. Now for... The nut for the front wheel. Let's just loosen it up while I'm here. I have a 15 16. All right, that's loose. Everything goes on your tray and you can't lose nothing. Now we will remove the calipers. These are 10 millimeter 12 point. Rock these back and forth to collapse the pistons in the caliper. Now that's out of the way. Now we'll go to the other side and do the same thing. Sometimes they could be a little bit of a bear. So I like to break them loose with my half inch ratchet. <clears throat> Not bad at all. It's a brand new bike, it shouldn't be. But sometimes you never know. put them on the tray now rock it back and forth okay when you do collapse these it makes it easier and you don't hit the fender with that we're going to do the same thing wire it up on this road glide it works real nice on the directional be conscious of the abs when we unhook this take it apart the abs will swing loose and we'll put that up there too all right let's loosen this pinch bolt which is a six millimeter and that will free the axle up What I'm gonna do is scribe a little mark. So that's a reference point later, I know that's where it was. With that, I'm gonna hit the other side with my hammer. 
be aware how your spacers, this has the lines on the outside. So remember when you put it back together, it's all easy stuff. With that, I'm gonna pull the axle. All right, here goes the axle. I'm gonna hold it from up top. Watch that the bike don't get crazy. This, put that. And on this side, remember you have the ABS. Work it. And then I'm gonna put this right there out of the way. With that, I'm gonna remove and get rid of this front tire. Let's jack it up a little more. But these Laren jacks, these bikes are pretty, pretty stable. Okay, let's remove this and put it aside. I quickly just put a black dot. You know that's your right side. So when you put everything together, you don't gotta go crazy checking for the arrow and all that stuff. We have, with that, we don't have no problems on the inside. Sometimes they'll have clips that are bent over as locks. All right, so let's remove it. I'm gonna go to the outside. In most cases, this Fender hardware, it could have some sort of lock tight on. So I grab my half inch drive and my quarter inch bit. Let's see. You can see there's some kind of Yeah, there's some kind of locking. There's some Loctite on that. This one's easy. I'm gonna go to the other side. Yeah, they're a little grimed up. It could be some kind of Loctite. What I'm gonna do is spray them. And hopefully that will make it easier. Take your time. I like this uh, blaster, penetrating oil. Beautiful stuff. All right, with the snap-on gun, I'm gonna hold the fender. That's one. I have the other two on the other side loose. That's two. Now just drop it down and it's free. What I will do is spray a little oil, penetrating oil on those threads, just to make sure we have no problems with this. Now I'm gonna put this on a blanket. Now what I wanna do is place this axle back in there. We'll clean it up and we'll re-grease it later. And that's just to hold the forks in place. So when I loosen them up, I'm one person. I can't be here and there. So now this will stay perfect. I'm going to take out this Allen head and put this aside. We don't need that. I'm going to re remove the hardware on the front that ties these forks to your steering. All right, we're going to do one side at a time. I'm going to take a bungee cord and put it over here to pull the wheel this way. Connecting it to the back rack. I have room to get to that Allen head right there. All right, it's a quarter inch Allen head. And I took the bungee cord and worked the steering over to the left. With this, I'm gonna give it a little hit. Wasn't bad at all. Take note how loose or how tight. This was not that tight pinch bolt on these triple trees. I want you to take notice at the gap that this is set at. Just take a good look at it. And just make sure you set both sides the same. You'll see spots on the aluminum that will indicate where that was. You want to try to put everything back the same way. With that, I'm going to go to the front of the bike and get the other two pinch bolts. Now, as you see, here's the two quarter inches, and there's only 
three pinch bolts that holds that fork in place. And that's why we have the axle, so it will not fall free. All right, I got three eighths. And that seems to go beautiful. Nice, it wasn't that tight. Take notice, that's all I got to say. I'm gonna use my half inch impact. This should get the job done. All right, I just, so now it's pretty loose and it will leak oil. So let's get this out of there. Like I said, we loosened that 12 millimeter Allen head, so it's not a problem. I had to use the impact. We got one quarter inch to loosen. Okay, that's loose. Now this should slide free. Give it a little twist. This is a brand new bike. There should be no problem. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. And like I said, don't clean this up so you can see where it was in the clamp up top. Okay, now I got it in the pail. I got my measuring cup because I want to see exactly how much comes out of this. And now we're going to remove... Because this could get messy. This is the worst part right here. That's why you need this extension. All right, we'll put that aside. Get your hand in there. There will be a brass washer too. Get that out. All right, there's that. And as you see, there's the brass washer. What I want to do is turn this over and see how much fluid we get. Goes. Take your time. Just work it nice and slow. Now this is dripping into that measuring cup. Give it a few minutes. Take this and move it to the side. There were so many different statements on how much flow, so that will give me an idea. Okay, now what we want to do is loosen up this 19 millimeter. Like I said, the impact works nice, but just keep an eye. This is spring loaded, so it will pop. I'm just gonna give it a quick hit. There she goes. That wasn't that bad. As long as you got a rag there. Hopefully you can see it. There it goes. Let's take out parts and lay them out. One. Two, three. The spring we're going to keep in the bucket because that's grimy. Okay, and you know which way it goes because it's going to sit in the bucket the way it came out. All right, hopefully you can see that. Now you want to take a little screwdriver. See it ends right there. Now you see how it comes out? That easy. Okay, let's just slide that up. We'll put that over here. I slid this a few times. You're starting to see this move. Now that's a part. Let's put this this and this on the cardboard. Okay, beautiful. There's a piece in here that did not come out. Not a problem. There it goes. I 
And now, that's that. This is hollow now, this is empty. This piece came out. Remember, this is where it bolted through. Put that over here, and this goes on here. And that's the unit. It's pretty basically simple. You got these nice chrome. These are gorgeous, $300. You can't go wrong. There we go, she's a beauty. What we need to do now is get everything in here, replace our seals, and put it all together. All right, this is a piece of PVC. I cut a line in it. I cut a line in it. I'm gonna slide that down like that. We got the bushing in there, the seal is not. So. You'll hear it, she's in. Take that out. Let's oil up the seal. All right, I'm gonna put some oil on this seal. Slide that on. Now, this is a lot easier. Put this back on it. Now, Now, remember that C-clip we took out. Now, you can see the line, so you know everything's installed where it needs to go. Uh, take this C-clip. Now, what you're going to do, you see the way it looks, corner it in there, and there we go. Now, with the screwdriver, you're going to hear it click. There you go. That's it. That's beautiful. That's done. Okay, now we know. Well, let me fill this up with oil. 20 ounces came out, 20 ounces is gonna go in. I gotta turn this over. All right, we got it. I put the spring in to put pressure on it. Now I wanna Tighten this up a little bit. Where's my ratchet? Right now, I just need it to seal. All right, that's that. I'll put this in the bottom. And let's dump this oil in there. That's to get all the air out. All right, you don't hear nothing. As you see, I indexed it there. I made this wood block, two inch hole saw, rubber, rubber. Let's drop that in there. Okay. Now your spacer goes in. Now we have to compress this. Not an easy task. We have our index mark here. Using this wooden block, two pieces of rubber in the vise, I got a hole saw at two inches, 
and uh, she worked fine. I'm not gonna tell you, it was a bit of a hustle. Wear gloves, because this is a little greasy. What I did was take the half inch, two extensions, and this is the 19 millimeter, and I muscled it, and it worked. Remember these index marks, because they will help you. And with that, now I'm gonna install this on the bike. Like I said, that was a bit of a bear, but it's doable. It really is. Now I'm gonna slide this up in here. Everything goes together like it came apart. Now, remember, I got the plastic on there. I'm gonna slide the axle. All right. I hit it a few times, that all worked out. That's gonna keep it honest. That's there and that's in there. So that's square. Now let's take a look at everything and make sure it's all lined up. All right, let me tighten this up. Remember how it was, it wasn't. We'll talk them down later. That's about it. Now we'll go for the two underneath. All right, and there's the other two. And remember, it wasn't crazy. And there's that. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but on this side, I'll bungee cord it, lean it this way, use that axle to keep me honest, and uh, we'll get this done. So here, you see what I'm gonna do? I got the impact. It's the easiest way to do it. The bottom hardware and the top hardware. I'm gonna wrap a rag. This impact, this would not really be possible. Because like the other bikes, you're usually able to use the triple tree as a brace. Not so much here. So let's get this on there. 19 millimeters. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Here it goes. Now you can see a little gap there. Not too bad. The gun is the whole deal. Now you got that, like we did before. Let's lay it out on the cardboard. Plug, spacer, washer. The spring I pull out, but you gotta remember, drip a little bit. I want to take this oil out and see what's in this one. That's why I got the Home Depot bucket. Makes it nice and neat. Just 20 ounces. You check when you remove the oil, just to be sure. With that, I'm gonna take the O-ring out. Let's pull the bottom. We already loosened that, so hopefully that'll just come right out. And you do need the four inches for the extension. Get that out. I 
I don't see the brass washer. Keep in mind. you got to remove that little c-clip look for the end get your screwdriver in there and there she goes you remove that c-clip try to clean stuff as you put it away we're going to reuse this this goes to the side now just remember you got your spring in there okay grab this like this and you can see, you can see a little mark in there. It's coming. It's coming. Twist it. She's passed the seal. She's passed the seal clip. She's well done. Put that aside. Beautiful. That's that. Okay. There's that. I just got to get me a little pick to get that brass piece out. Okay. There's our piece of brass, and you do need that. I'm going to put this back in here. Kind of tight. That's where it goes, and that's your seal. Put that there. Okay, I got the other chrome lower, and I'm gonna install this. Now, we know this goes like that, and we know this is gonna go like that. Now we'll put that in there. Everything's in place now. I'm going to put this. You can see the line. You get your flashlight. And you can see the groove that this goes in. Like I showed you before. What you want to do is just get the back in. And work it to the front. Now with a little screwdriver, you're going to hear it click right in. Check all three. You'll see his little indentation. And that's perfect. That's done. Alrighty. Now for our bottom. Talk it down later. Back in the bell. Spring is in. Pull the spring out. Let's put out oil. All right. I 
I took out 20 ounces, I'm putting 20 ounces in. Now with the spring, we know we never change the orientation, so that goes right in there. This can come out. Go to the side. Now we got that. Now go up and down and get the air out of the fork. Five times. You can see she's pretty smooth. You'll hear the bubbles go away. Let's remember to index this. There it's red. There it's not. So let's start off over here. That gives us a fair chance. Any question about this block that I made up for the vise? You will need it. This is tough. Just ask. All right. This is the wooden block I made to hold the tube in the vise. All it was was a two-inch hole saw, and then I split the two-by-four down. And that's it. And then we put this in the vise, like I showed you, and it holds the clamp. I use two inch hole saw and this rubber right here and she's beautiful. That's all tight. We'll double check that later. Now by feeding the axle through here, it squares this all up and now I can tighten up this quarter inch and check. Now, the utmost important that this reveal is the same on that side. And that's pretty much how I index this okay, Now that we made sure everything's indexed right, we got these last two pinch bolts. And like I always say, be conscious on how tight they were when you took it apart. I'm gonna go through all the talk specs and I'll have it written in the description. Any questions, just ask. It's not too bad, but you just gotta set yourself up right. Now I'm gonna throw the fender on, then the wheel, and uh, get this thing done with. That fender looks good. Those chrome fronts look real good. Now to put the wheel on. All right, we buttoned everything up. Those chrome forks look beautiful. And you get them for $300. But uh, well worth it. Those other ones corroding away. They really, really, really. This is a 2022 bike. And look at those forks. That's a big improvement. He's going to be very happy. If you have any questions, please ask. And if you could, subscribe thumbs up, and leave a comment. All right. Ride safe and have a great day. See you at Daytona.